Hello everybody, Pharaohs over here, and uh, this is a video sp response to Random Mac 5, Random Mac 5's um, bridge video, which uses actually a piston bridge, as you can see here. Um, now, t I heard him saying that he's looking for, um, not looking, well, that he's thinking about a more compact version for a T flip flop. So this, I think, is the most compact version, as you can see here. So this is your output. It uses sticky pistons. Press the button. No output. Press the button again. Yes, output. I think it's absolutely useful. Um, so I think that uh, so that's the most compact version for the the flip flop. And over here is the XNOR gate. In case you don't know it, well, <coughs> so here it is. Um, so yeah, if if both inputs are on so there won't be output if only one of them is on there will be output if none of them are on uh, so there won't so as you can see both of them are off now when I turn one on there is output now when I turn the other on <coughs> there isn't and when I turn the first one off there is so uh, Skype so that's very useful uh, and as you can see took some space to wire it all. I'm sure I can have make, made it more compact, but that's that. Um, so I wired it to the piston to the piston T flip flop, and it works perfectly. Of course, with some delay because I needed to stuck it in with the levers, but as you can see, it works perfectly. Now you could go up and close it behind you. Um, and the second way is with the levers. I don't know why I jumped down there, but it's with the levers. So now I switch it, it comes, I go up, and even though this stays on, I could switch this one and it will turn off. Okay, which I think this is much more comfortable because this is actually how many times the lights in your house work. And I think this version is much more comfortable. So as you can see, it could even turn it off from here, jump down. And then flip it again here, and it will and it will stay. It's completely genius, okay? And it works amazingly. So all you, remember, all you need to do is wire these two to the um, to the inputs of your XNOR, as you can see here, and then wire it to your pistons. And about the and about uh, yeah, wire it to your pistons. And about the T flip flop, it's same same, okay? I wired both of the buttons, as you can see. Here I ro I wired both of the buttons to the T flip flop and connected the output of the T flip flop to the pistons. Thanks for watching. Um, glad to help. Uh, just power zoomer out. Goodbye.